Welcome everybody, this is Brother Mead here. We are starting a different series of games. This is not going to detract from my current Let's Plays or actual uh, build videos for Pathfinder, Pathfinder Kingmaker, Pathfinder Wrath the Righteous when it comes out. This is just something different to kind of like change my palette a little bit. Uh, for those of you that have watched my channels before, you probably know that I'm a big fan of tower defense games, Kingdom Rush being one of my favorite sets. Uh, they actually have released, I think, want to say four different games now. Uh, you can get many of them, uh, earlier versions, particularly cheap on either Steam or downloaded to like your low, uh, tablet or iPad. In fact, I even bought a $200 tablet once uh, a few years back just to play a $1 game. Let me tell you how good this game is, okay? So literally I bur burned up $201 for one game. But I got over 200 hours of enjoyment out of that game. So again, I didn't feel like I would shrink myself in any stretch of the imagination. This one's a little different. Uh, it's still a tower defense game, but the, the premise of this one is is the main bad guy that you beat in, I'm going to say, the first, second, or third game um, is back, and he is the person you're playing, or you're his captain, whatever. So basically, you get to play the villains. You're still building towers, and the, you're, the good guys are trying to basically invade your area at that point. A couple of other things that they've done a little different. Uh, well, one of which is specifically as you progress in each level, it used to be every level you'd get like one, two, or three stars. Those stars were used to burn up, uh, to increase your tower's abilities, your personal abilities and spells, and your hero's abilities and spells. Uh, but they don't do that anymore. You still get points to do that. It's just not technically based on the three-star system. Uh, they're just gifted to you. And again, I'm sure the stars have something to do with it, but again, they don't really explain that. So again, you'll see that as a change. Another change is you'll actually see different towers I mean, not just the fact that, of course, we're villains versus the hero side of the things. I mean, it used to be you only had four tower choices. You had your uh, ranged attacker, you, you know, like an archer tower. You had your uh, foot soldier uh, barracks. You had a mage tower of some kind. And you had an AOE bomb explosion, if you will, tower. And that's still in the game. They've added a fifth category. And that fifth category can change. So you can slot out towers as you see fit, which you'll see as we get into it. So let's actually make a character here and start this up, shall we? New game. So, uh, again, a little bit of backstory on this one. There's a little cartoon panels that they go through here. I'm not going to read this to you guys, but this is just to set up the tone of the various uh, uh, stages of the game. So, you know, letting you know kind of what's going on, what's happened. So that's the bad guy, the one that got defeated before. Clearly, he's back now. With no pants. <laughs> so, the idea is, is he's pissed off and he wants to get his kingdom back. They actually turned into a goddamn amusement park. I want to talk about piss you off. Now, the tutorial is built into the game. So, this first part here is the tutorial. Letting you know, click here, make a tower. Then they'll tell you that bad guys are coming up this way. This is how you activate that. Notice if you hover over it, something they don't tell you. If you hover over it, you'll see a path for approximately the way they'll go to the exit. So, this is what you're trying to defend. And there may be more than one exit, so be clear on that. Uh, the downside of this is while it says this is the path, that's not necessarily the case. Uh, you will see sometimes that uh, like there's two en endings, two different paths, and they say, oh, we're going this way, and then they lie, and they go the other way. So make sure to guard both reasonably well. Okay. Uh, notice it tells you also, uh, when you hover over it, what's coming, and that should be accurate. So that's what you're seeing here is these two doofuses coming up. One, two power here is going to be shooting at it. Nothing we can do. It's automatic, autopilot. You don't have to control that part. You, what you will control, they'll again unlock for you here in a little bit. Something else that I love about this game uh, is not just the cartoony nature of it. I do love uh, the clickables on each or most waves, I should say. So if you see, uh, you got your cursor here. You see my little hand floating around like my Mickey Mouse hand. It's letting you know this protect that spot. Notice if I release this sooner, I get more money. Now they're starting to unlock your special abilities. There's always three. It used to be, in the vanilla version of the game, it used to be, you had a uh, Mayoe power, like a fireball spell or some shit, like the lightning bolt, something like that. In our case, we have a soul beam. Then the second power is summoning reinforcement, which is what you're seeing here. Then the third one, uh, in this particular game, I don't remember if it was in the, any of the others, but in, in this case anyway, the third one is contingent on the hero, or villain in this case, that you get as a side character. So you see one, two, three. This will be, of course, your hero portrait when he shows up. So here's your new power. It's going to let us know to summon bad guy or uh, reinforcements over here. Like so. 
And again, they're just foot soldiers right now. We can upgrade them with those those points I was talking about. I'll show you that at the end of this wave. They're not great, but they will in a pinch keep things from like escaping while your towers have a chance to shoot them. Notice that we have a new hero. Okay, they get levels. So they have health and they have XP. They start off at usually at level one, and you steadily build them up by fighting things. I don't know if they get XP from killing stuff. So heroes gain. Oh, here it says heroes gain experience every time they damage an enemy or use an ability. Oh, awesome. Okay, so basically put them up front is the goal here, but don't let them die. You can either tell them where to go, uh, or you could uh, click the portrait to tell them where to go, or you can press the space bar, which they don't tell you that either. Uh, these buttons here are buttons one, two, three on your keyboard, or you can just, again click them drop them. Notice that these are his powers, the, the special ability we get because he's our hero. Uh, that is an, another set of, of soldiers, but in this case it's better than just soldiers, it's ranged attacking soldiers. I'm going to do a uh, foot soldier try. Notice we click here every time you see something up here that's usually showing you some new information. In this case, here's a new bad guy, the human worker. They have low damage and slow speed. Sometimes they'll tell you, like, better ways to defeat them like oh they're susceptible to magic or some shit like that here's our special unlock ability soul impact this is our aoe power this is again like the other games versions had like fireball or a, like a meteor strike or a lightning bolt spell so that's what we're getting here with this obviously it doesn't hurt your team so make sure to use it liberally they're all on a cooldown timer and those timers are not set in stone they are initially you can increase or decrease i should say the time that it takes for them to pop back up notice the different types of towers that we have the four and then of course the lock five we're going to get to the tomorrow. Okay, put those guys back there just in case stuff were to sneak through and i want him to literally melee the shit out of stuff because he needs to get that xp sweet sweet xp for him notice the towers are locked what that means is they're at tier one that's the, the highest tier we can get at this wave. We'll unlock tier 2, tier 3, tier 4, which of course is the one you really want. Because that's when you start getting cool special abilities instead of just the generic. They do damage, the foot soldiers are better. That's what the different tiers give you. Maybe a little bit better range as well. But that's about it. The tier 4, you can start unlocking like special abilities based on the type of tower that you upgrade. Well, no one told you to take it. So he's all pissed off, uh, and apparently wants to get revenge on the dwarves. Now, that's the end of the wave. You'll notice up in the corner it also told you how many waves, like 104, 204. These are three stars that I was talking about. Again, they don't really do anything for us that I can see, uh, but I imagine they are tied to how soon you get points. The points are used for your upgrades. That's these things here. See these? They're not stars. It used to be in the other version of the game. So you have to earn these. I assume that's based on uh, earn souls by completing the campaign stages. It says so right there. Uh, use souls uh, to buy powers for your power. So again, this is the stuff that we could upgrade. And again, this is basically for your towers. This is basically for uh, your, your heroes. This is your upgrades for the foot soldiers you can summon. And this is your upgrade for your nuke ability. Uh, you can reset them at any time. And you can do the same when we talk about heroes. When he gets to higher level, uh, Notice he'll go from level 1 to level 2. We'll get 4 points to spend. Every level he gets 4 more points to spend. It's a, a theme for all of them. Notice how some cost 3, some cost 1, or some cost 2. Hell, there's probably a bad guy in here that there's one that's probably like 4 or 5. So again, you have to kind of save up for it. But you can reset it at any time. So if you try something say, I didn't like that, and let's, let's get this stuff. You can reset it for free, and boom, 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 pick the ones you want, and then say done. So again, this lets you know how good he is You know, the, when you're clicking through all of them. He's re reasonably healthy, You know, has a high HP, has terrible armor, has a, a terrible attack damage, and he has a cooldown timer that's probably in the middle, and I'm not sure if that's for his abilities or if that's specifically for his um, uh, respawning. Because so if they die, they come right back to life, but it takes a little bit. Uh, but he has a variety of abilities, and some of these abilities he doesn't even have until you unlock them. This one, for example, is the ability that all of them have, that they give you like the special power. Uh, they have that by default, so level 1, level 2, level 3 will be upgrades to that. This one, for instance, though, is a power he does not have. You have to buy at least level 1 of this for him to be able to use that ability, and it's actually pretty good. So yeah, you want to 
trade up on different abilities, for example. Uh, now, we've done these games before, so I'm definitely going to do veteran mode. You don't have to do that, but I prefer it. Uh, and notice that, again, there's three stars, and then there's uh, two different icons here. So there's two different modes after you beat a level. Uh, they, they unlock the ability to do a, a tougher wave. You know, it's like tougher bad guys or a restriction of some kind. Like you don't get a hero. You don't get to use these kind of towers, shit like that. This one here is the crazy ass mode. So you beat the three stars. Then you could go back and beat it with this one. And then you can go back and beat it with that one if you so choose. And again, they're kind of fun. But it's, again, just more pushing the envelope, so to speak. I love the cartooniness of this. This will give me a chance to show you my first interaction. This one here will light up. When it lights up, you want to click it. Of course, you have to wait for the mission to start to do this shit. Uh, but we're going to make towers, uh, since this is clearly the path that we're defending and assuming that there's no other path that opens up. Sometimes that happens. Uh, this is all we need to defend. Now, I can defend all the way back here, but then it'll take goddamn forever. But since up here is a good chance to like, give it a nice little choke point, I'll get some foot soldiers up here to slow some shit down. Get my leader up in here. Get myself some solid, uh, what are you thinking, like uh, archer damage? And then we we'll save our money for a, a bomb uh, artillery tower. I could put a fire tower over here, a mage tower, but I think that's probably overkill at this point. So what you want to do is you want to have your range attackers back far enough that they're not walking up and mailing if they can't help it. And again, I have these reinforcements whenever I need. Again, you see the cooldown timers on them. They're different times, as you can see. Again, I can summon stuff sooner, but only if I feel like I can handle it. But doing so, again, gives you cash. Uh, so you see here we got a new upgrade uh, to our tower. We can command our troops with a rally point. That's the blue flag you're seeing here. Again, I've played this before, so this is something that I already knew. But uh, you definitely want to have these guys pulled back if you need to. You know, like someone's running past, for example. Uh, but what I usually do is uh, I have them a little bit behind because they're not the main fight force he is. As he gets all that sweet XP for everything he's uh, attacking and killing. And I'll just use my reinforcement power to supplement him. And again, anything that might bleed through, we we'll use those guys or I'll nuke them. Notice also when you speed up the timer, your timer your cooldown times on your three powers down here speed up as well. So it's almost necessary, well not necessary, useful to use them and then click the ability because you may click something like that. See this here? This is one of the interactions they have in the game. Little pop up will show up as well. Follow the Misty Mountains. Oh, Baldo, sneak into the mountain. Go ahead, Baldo. They have various references to the sci-fi and stuff as you'll see uh, in the game. Which is another reason why I like these series of games. They're pretty damn funny. What are we fighting here? Dwarf losers, low damage. Okay. Not summoning yet. I like, use the money, but I don't need it that bad. But I will do a, a mage tower. See how he's doing for XP right now? He's actually more than halfway to level 2. It's very nice for him. notice there's new character come out and he has armor one two or three slots of armor obviously the, the higher the slot the more protection they take or, or protection they have from physical damage this is armor proper this protects from physical attacks as they're list, listing here so again archers foot soldiers are, are fine examples even artillery but there's a separate category with a gold or a blue shield with again one two and three levels that's magical armor protecting from magical attacks like our mage tower here so again, know that's a thing. And see, low armor, letting you know that they're going to be tougher than normal. Again, just to give you a reference for that, let's have to slow him down. We'll take these little putzes out. Yay. Wasn't well, too tough. And again, a nice little nukage goes a long way. But now we're fighting just these guys, as you can see. Let's actually put them the Notice again, we're still locked from going to tier two. You can always keep a little bit of money in your back pocket if you can to have a, a, a last ditch effort. Like, oh god, I need a tower. 
be surprised how often that comes in handy. I can just as easily though, throw in some extra round damage as they come around the corner. This is the radius, by the way, of the tower that's doing AOE attacks, uh, which is like this one here. And again, the the hard part about this for a lot of people like, well, he's in within range. Yeah, but his feet aren't. So look at the shadows where they're like bouncing around. That's where the position actually is in this circle. See, here we need to be in within range. Same with this guy. He just got within range right here. Back range attackers. And again, they will melee, but they're just not very good at it. They're better off chucking their spears. He's almost dead, but you see that? Damage! I have a chance to heal up a little bit here. There's some foot soldiers up front, too. To stall it. They do regenerate all your villain heroes, whatever you want to call them. Will regenerate over time. Um, some have special abilities. There's my level 2. I heard the noise. Um, some of them have special abilities that allow them to regenerate or steal health from bad guys, you know, like a soul stealing ability. So, stuff like that is going to be things you'll see that we can possibly unlock with various heroes. Making some more interesting than others. Some heroes have the ability to attack stuff in the sky. Stuff that's flying. This guy's not. He's a straight up meleeer. That's all he's going to do is take ground troops out. But he does a good job of it. But it's one of those where if you're using him on a wave where there's going to be a lot of flying monsters or bad guys or bees or whatever flying through the area, you're better off than using the towers or like a hero that can shoot. Uh, like an arrow or magic bolt, something that could hit the sky. So, that's always a good thing. Pull this guy's up here. Make sure you just keep him within range of those towers. Look at that man flesh! That's out of gross, bro. Good job, though. Feels good to be back. In the first stage of three stars. Now, because that's the first official stage, our first official upgrade. Three upgrade points and level two towers are now unlocked. It means we still have to build a tower and then make it level two, which costs even more money, but. Sorry, it was pot plate, I think. But now we have three points. And again, I could spend them any way I so fit, see fit. And reset them, spend them like this, reset them. Maybe I want this and that. Again, maybe I want this and that. Again, up to you. And for me, I like this path first. And here's why. Uh, these are our reinforcements, okay? So our reinforcements, if you read the, the, the tooltips, it tells you what it's giving you. After dying, Goonies explode, dealing area damage to all affected enemies. So bad guys kill them, they'll pop and damage the bad guys at one last attempt to fucking uh, up, basically. Here, trained Goonies, better trained for combat. Goonies now have improved health and damage. So again, making them tougher uh, and more able combatants. Nowhere near like your foot soldiers, but still better than they were. The reason that this is important is because this is a tiered system. So bottom, top, uh, again, you have to progress your way to it. And we're trying to get to these, minimum. Why these? Because this allows them to be ranged attackers as well. And you may say, well, his heroes, or his summoning power is, you know, spear chucking idiots. That's good enough, sure, but I'd rather have two sets of idiots that chuck spears. In this case, pitchforks and spears. So that's the logic there. He leveled up, so now he has four points, and again, I can upgrade this, that, and that. Reset it if I don't like it. Get this and that. Reset if I don't like it. Again, on you. But I remember, he doesn't have this ability until you unlock this ability. So I definitely want to get that because that's adding some serious damage potential to him. Now notice something here. It says 180. That's the next upgrade. Okay, so if I reset it, you hover over, see how it says 90? That's what's going to give you if you click this. Level 2 upgrade, aim slashes 2, he even says it in the title there. A swift and powerful technique slashes an enemy twice, dealing 180 damage to the target. That'll be the next upgrade. Uh, now the only thing I can afford is either him or him, and there's no reason to save him at this point, because again, you can always reset later, so you might as well burn them up. Uh, so it smashes the ground, stunning enemies, that's a new ability, again, something he didn't have up until now. Summon a pair of goblins to aid in combat, again, he doesn't have that one, and you may think, well, isn't that the same as this? No, these are his own foot soldiers. So he'll have, uh, he'll snap his finger or call on a conch shell or whatever, and the bad guys, a couple of them will show up. And again, the tier one is not as good as tier two or tier three, but again, it is a new power. I like the stunning moves. Stunning moves lock bad guys down, gives us a chance to smack them around a little bit more, even if it is for a second or two. Notice the next upgrade is two seconds. 
And then again, the next upgrade after that's probably three or four seconds. So that's all you're really getting for that is longer duration. It's perfectly fine though. Again, he's got nice health. His armor's probably getting better and his attack's getting better. Uh, again, I still have no idea what that is. I'm assuming cooldown time of his own personal abilities is what that's telling me. Maybe that's his ground speed. That's possible too. Uh, anyway, he is ready to rock and roll and we have our next target. Notice, by the way, the exclamation point. We could go back and do the, what level is this? Iron challenge or the heroic challenge. And notice what happens. Six elite waves, one life only. So again, you can't have anybody go through. In this category, it's one elite wave. So it's just a massive wave. One life only again. So again, no one can get through. And you can only use these towers. See that? So that's what that is. We're not doing that right now. We'll come back to that shit later. Here, we're going again for our typical veteran mode because you have to unlock those two. But we'll try our best to get three stars. Shouldn't be too difficult. It's probably about the third or fourth mission that I have problems trying to get the perfect scores. And you don't need to have a perfect score usually to get three stars. You need at least like a 19, maybe even an 18 on some of them. But if you get to 17 or less, you know, so you've literally lost quite a few guys got through. You probably want to restart the wave if you're a stickler for getting all three stars. Um, well, we have bad guys coming this way, and you can see more bad guys will probably end up coming this way. That doesn't mean that's the only way they could come. Uh, sometimes stuff will just happen in the middle of like wave three or four or whatever, where like a door swings open and suddenly like they're parachuting in or flying off these carts and, and landing into the ground. So these aren't the only necessary paths. It is for this particular wave. I'm just saying that know that that's misleading to think that it's only going to be two paths every time when you see stuff like this the map will change if you will over time and you'll get a feel for it so if you don't beat it the first time you'll know the next time that it's going to behave in the same exact manner um again nice choke points are nice so again the fact that we have one two here maybe even three or four for this path is great but doesn't do us a whole lot of good when stuff's going to come down this way this will help and this will help and that's about it so you got to be real choosy here um, I like having archers peppering the shit out of everybody. Um, I like having some foot soldiers. Since this is the main path, we're almost going to try to fork this down right in front of the archers, which means when they get this close, these guys will move to the bad guys, keeping them within the range of that archer tower. And I like to have a nice AOE damage. And that sprint all my loot. Or at least all that I could spend. When I get, of course, him up front so I can get more XP. Remember, that's his thing. In fact, I can have him way up front, because anyone that he doesn't take on will bleed past and these guys will fuck with. Yeah, we'll keep him close. And again, these guys are now tougher, better damage, and if you click on them, you can see the kind of info it gives you, like how much damage they do, how much health they have, how much armor, magic armor. And again, Spirit Chuckers, that's his power. I'm not going to summon these guys right now because uh, I might need them for this. Then I'll summon these guys, get a little coin early. Uh, now since they're coming this way, again, I still have these things to fall back on because they're all coming to the same spot. That doesn't mean I don't want an upgrade. So if I get some cash up, I'll probably grab like a flame tower, a mage tower, if you will. I could do the one here as well, but I think I probably want to have that be another archer tower. Brawly, brawly. Set it up where these guys can start doing some damage at range, softening them up a little bit. These guys up in here are getting bum rushed. Nope, with a sight. Notice again, I can upgrade my towers. And again, that's helpful when we get those armored opponents. None of these guys are armored yet. See, they don't have any dots in any of them. So these guys are just taking full damage from anybody. And again, we want to keep them in that nice tight cluster of a damage. So that the, both of these towers, hell, even that one can get into the Leaven. Leaving that one as a, a, a backup in case I need it. But again, I don't have any money for it, so kind of precarious over here. Uh, as far as clickable things on this map, I don't think I've found anything that was clickable on this one. Uh, that doesn't mean you shouldn't look like this, you can click on. See that? They, they roll into little balls, and there's another one up here. But that, I've never been able to do anything with it. Maybe I click them multiple times, make them explode. If 
find another one, but I haven't seen that. There's another maybe somewhere else that I just don't see. Go. Whoop. Yep. Let's get another archer tower going here. Just a little early reinforcements. Oh, those guys, that was the stun move. If you didn't see that, he slapped his sword on the ground and stunned everyone in a big AOE circle. Wasn't amazing. Oh, new, new troop. Uh, Clockwork spider is very fast. So literally something that's going to be zipping through your defenses. Locking down with some foot soldiers is usually how, what that means. There are some bad guys in the previous iterations of these games where the fast ones aren't stopped by foot soldiers. They suck. So you literally have to shoot them. Oh, 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 we're missing out. So you got one guy through. Busy chitter chattering away. No, 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 fast pass. That was. Man flesh. There we go. Just enough to help out. I and mean, my foot soldiers are getting murdered, so I probably need to upgrade them a bit. Don't like those fast guys. They are very, very annoying. Probably need to upgrade a tower. I'll just do the foot soldiers first. Not the best idea, but I don't have to worry about them dying quite as quick that way. The spear checkers come in real handy for softening up the guys that everyone else is lobbing up. Nice day we move, bro. Remember, these guys are the weak ones back here. They come from this tower. See the 1 to 3 and 60? Now these guys over here on the other hand have 100 and 3 to 4 and have armor. That's because we got an upgraded tower. Soften the fight on that side as well. Doing good over there. Still upset about the fact that I let the guy get through. And I've been clicking a little click happy over here. That's not good. Because the bad guys are going to start bum rushing us if I'm not careful. See, the thing about these guys is special, but you know, sometimes it's. To, react, to activate the special whatever you're hoping for, you literally need to have um, um, to click them multiple times before it like, will activate the special upgrade or whatever it is you're looking for. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, that's what it was. Aha! Morph Ball. Find all the armadillos. Didn't see that one before. Okay. New bad guy. Chomp box medium armor and it's a machine so if we look at this guys that come through you can see decent armor six to ten medium armor though makes me think that should be a two instead of a one maybe everyone has armor one by default trying to tell us upgraded damage here and again look at his damage now 16 to 49 still slow for how long it takes for him to shoot the range of his attacks that's the archer thing you know, short look at here though 5 to 16 is the tier 1 so it's garbage in comparison to tier 2 and this guy here is doing a 7 to 10 if we upgrade him you can see it says 20 to 29 and if you upgrade him and you see the circle gets or the oval I should say gets bigger that means the range is going up just the tiniest bit of course but it's definitely on the helpful side They shoot more faster, which I appreciate. 3 to 4 versus 7 to 11. Yeah, I'll take this up. Ah! Let's just try to get through. I see you. That's why you save those reinforcements. Thank you, guys. Well, I can, of course, again, soften stuff up. Keep them within range. And again, even if it's just a, it's a nice distraction, it slows down the possible spike of bad guys. Getting him over here as well. I don't think he's going to be able to hold that shit. That's, That's his special slice ability, by the way, that does 90 points of damage. Soft him up, fellas. That's full. That's full. That's full. This is not either. Is this. That's good. 
big move in the center pod. Don't give me the night tice cluster because this thing here is AoE damaging the shit out of stuff. And looks like we succeeded. Should get three stars. Didn't quite get to level three, but he's pretty damn close. Nice work, team. Three. What do you do? Yeah. Good work, demon scum. Okay. Again, three and three. Uh, level three, excuse me. Not bad. Nice little upgrade of towers. Again, will give me the little exclamation point, letting me know that there's two other waves in there I could repeat if I wanted to do so. Three points, and again, get my tridents. Want to be able to chuck those spears. Uh, hero, no upgrade. Again, if I don't like what I have, I can reset, re uh, pick points if I so choose. We still have yet to unlock a new one. If you click them, though, they'll tell you when they unlock. At level 5, literally wave 5, we'll be able to grab her. Level 7, level 8, she's pretty cool. Um, he's interesting. I have yet to get to any of the higher ones. But again, they, they, they go out of the way to be very comical. Um, you know, like you'll have like wizards, and you'll have like a necromancer, you'll have a vampirus is one of them. Uh, I had one character that was a, a duo, where it was like a little elf riding on the back of a giant uh, stuffed monster. Like literally like a uh, uh, stuffed teddy bear, but the teddy bear uh, was a giant golem, and the golem was like beating everything to death. And the little elf that or gnome, whatever, that was riding on his back was controlling him. It was fucking as hell. But that was in a different uh, setup. Different uh, kingdoms rush, I should say. So now we're doing level three, Cos and Mines. What we got here, fellas? Mm. Notice we have two exits. Probably two entrances. Matter of fact, I know that we have a third because uh, they'll come through here. And then if you don't kill them, they'll come through here. Hop off here so you can see how they bypass all your towers up until they land there. Or here and then they walk into your path very annoying that means we definitely want to be about to get it. Um, normally on a nice circle like this something like a nice ranged tower whether it's aoe or uh, single target shooters even a mage tower is nice because they have to walk that entire path remember and again you have all that area to shoot at them so i like putting like towers like shooting towers or archer tower uh, artillery towers or mage towers there that's on you um, this one again is another one that would be a good one because it walks this way and if they walk out this path this will be the way they have to walk so again a nice one for ranged attacks but I also like to have foot soldiers to keep them in the, the area of effects so if you see I put one here click that get them all the way the fuck up here doesn't matter which way they go this way this way or even this way they're going to run into these guys and then if I have towers peppering the shit out of them while they're uh, slowing them down, then all the better. Let's do this. So now you'll notice I'm not summoning these guys just yet. Um, I want to put them here so they don't walk into them. Remember, they're better at ranged attacks than they are at melee attacks. So if you keep them at distance, they can chuck their spears, from this case pitchforks, and damage them as like a free couple of tower attacks, basically. Oh hell, I'll kill that guy off before he gets a chance to get to anywhere. I'd love to have another tower here, probably an archer tower is my bet. That's a nice stun. Definitely want to get a flame tower going as well. guys here and click on them with your mouse left, left click as they come through otherwise they'll skip through and then they'll skip through this way and the, the flame tower would have been a better pick down here but I like to be damaged them for a longer period of time so it's a little silly to put the flame tower so it can, all the damage is appearing down here where I can like constantly pepper them from damage, damage, damage everywhere they go is kind of the point. Oh, really? Very nice. Okay. 
Kong. Help PK through the vines. Again, this is clickable for this map. At least one of them. Sometimes there's multiples. Go and do something. Bunch. And again, the nuke would work, but they're so spread out that I'm probably not going to hit everybody. So if I let them clump up on my team, I have that back yay, then I have a chance of clustering them up and getting like massive hits on everybody. Or I can just soften these guys up before they get to them. Cyclopter. Now, there's our flying targets, our first ones. So, again, the only thing that can hit flying targets are ranged attackers. So, again, our spear chuckers, our pitchfork chuckers, our uh, everything except for the artillery tower. But the artillery tower does work, and let me explain how that does work. If the artillery tower is AOE exploding on somebody and they just happen to be in the area, these guys will take damage. They're like Indiana Jones. Nice. See how it's not shooting at him? He was clearly within range because he's flying. But if there's a foot soldier on the ground there, they'd be exploding bombs on that foot soldier. These guys will be taking damage from those AOE explosions. Um, again, everyone's different. It never hurts to have more archery towers everywhere. I'll even probably put one down here just in case something sneaks through. The real weak spot at this point is this side over here, but he can still pepper guys for a long, long range. And again, these guys are great for the ability to damage flying targets. This is basically one of your money waves, is what that basically just did for me if you set up right. Die, ah, loser. Uh, now I can have foot soldiers up here. Keep them within range of our uh, towers. Again, that's just to make sure that these towers get more shots off. And give me a place to do stuff like that. I'm not going to summon just yet. We got to get some of these guys through here. The archery is not the best. Nice upgrade. There. That was a long one. Yeah, we stun was able to stun the guy in the sky. You see that? Not bad. All right. Spirit chucking over here just in case. See how they're clustering up nice, getting ready for that big soul beam. Not yet. We'll let him come down here. This guy might be able to take out one or two. Throw the like fire there, like. Just be a jerk. Put soldiers back here to damage them at range as well as looking for us to this way. New bad guy. The Tin Beard Gunman. Ranged attack, slow speed. Knows how he has a gun to shoot your guy. So you want to take those guys out uh, before they take out your foot soldier. We just got upgraded to level 3 though. See that? I can't burn the points yet, but that's okay. See these guys are gonna take out my foot soldiers. See they're just shooting, murdering the hell out of me. See that? That's gonna be the same touch. But then you move your character in place, thumb rush him, and when he melees, he can't shoot. That's why you can teleport these guys right on top of them, so they have to melee in there. Hopefully the tower's gonna to take them out. Now I've yet to upgrade a tower from tier one to tier two, from tier two to tier three, which is what we're seeing here now. That's probably something we definitely want to do, but I would probably want it a back end tower. It's okay to be weak at the beginning here, because when they get to this nice cluster pile, they'll start damaging the shit out of them. Little bastards. Biggie little bastards. So these guys are meleeing, but this guy's shooting and he's killing the shit out of those guys because they just stand there. They can't go outside of that range. Back in the back here. Yeah, okay. You got that. 
find a point where we're going to find a dick. Get 190 bucks to get to the next tier. I can upgrade these guys and give them some tougher fighting abilities, better health, etc. and so forth, but they're just there for fodder more than anything. These ones on the other hand might not be the worst idea to upgrade them, but I do want to get badass tower. So you see how this does even more damage, 14 to 21, versus 3 to 4, 7 to 11. See him come down. And if I didn't kill him, he'd land there and then walk. Let's actually just let that happen so you can see what that looks like. See that? I'm clicking him. Boom. And he drops right on my goddamn wall. I'm that time. Come losers. Switch over is a little more tougher as well. I know they're fodder, but I do like having a nice choke point there. It keeps these foot soldiers from overwhelming me because, again, my towers back here need to be taking out these sky pilots. If I'm busy shooting at the foot soldiers, they're not shooting these guys down. And that could be a real problem. So you want to try to lock up the foot soldiers as best you can. These guys should be able to hold it. If not, I got sky beams. Well, I could upgrade that, but I could upgrade the flame tower. I think I'd rather do that. What's these guys? New enemy. Smoke beard engineer. Repairs machines. Medium armor. Okay, so these guys are going to... Yeah, see, that's medium armor as far as I'm concerned. Uh, these little robots, those machines, when they die, he'll zap them and repair them. So the way to handle him is, again, engagement in melee. He can't healing shit while he's melee. That's the damage machines you try to repair. It takes a little bit of time, as you can see, for them to clear out. If he's there when they're smoking, he'll be able to heal. Them. Like this one here, that's smoking right now, he should be able to heal that if he wanted to. But he has to be within range. That's why we just cluster pile him up so he has no choice but to make it. When the machines come down here, die, and disintegrate. He has no chance to heal. That's the healing. Versus 7 to 10, that's some nice AOE damage. See the gun over here? Because they're busy messing with my ground troops, so all my towers are having a chance to just pepper them with damage. I'm going to give them a little number, I can mail in a little more. Lock them so they can't shoot stuff. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Let's get one of these upgraded to tier 3, what do you say? That 33 to 100, is that what it said? What? What? Yeah. 
repair guys is where we're going to get overwhelmed if we're not careful here. Now that we're probably past the wave and start selling stuff to upgrade other things. Choke them off a little bit. Wait for some melee so we have no choice and the robots will die naturally. Got it, you got it, you got it. You got it. You got it. Good. That's my team. Boom! Big three stars. Now sometimes when the wave is done, like you just saw, um, you're not done. Be real clear on this. There's sometimes there's a boss fight. So you're thinking that that's the end of the wave. It's the last bad guy. Clearly I'm done. And you start selling your towers, making all kinds of money so you can make like a really kick-ass tower to finish that last brick off. And then the boss walks through. You're like, oh shit, shouldn't have sold those towers off, huh? Yeah, pretty much. But now we're at level four towers. Now that's the best level of towers. And now we'll start unlocking new towers, which makes it even more fun. Where are we going to? There, let's upgrade those three points. I could upgrade this, making the titans, uh, tridents do flame damage. So when they hit them, they'll set them on fire and burn the bad guys a little bit. Nothing wrong with that as an idea. Uh, and then it would still give me a point to spend on, say, this here, respawning my hero a little faster if they die, or this one here where it's a blitz tactics. Uh, bonus gold for calling an early wave, I like that. Let's do all that. Hero upgrade. Still can't get her yet, she must be the next wave, so after this wave. Uh, but he has leveled up, so he has another four points to spend. Now I'm uh, happy unlocking, say, this one. And this one. You'll see that I can't spend anything else, because nothing costs one. It's okay, they'll save that for you. And again, if you didn't like that as an option, you could have picked something else. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, we're going here. The brewery, huh? Two exits again to defend. We're really six. Highlight over here to see where they're coming first. So supposedly this will be the path. If you believe that, defend up in here. But be always on the lookout for dropping troops down here in a moment's notice. Now the way I like to do this one, it's a little weird. Um, I like having an archer tower here. It's a solid pepper damage. Uh, I like to have bombs around a corner. And I like to have foot soldiers here. And I can sweep them way the fuck back there if I need to, but usually I'll keep them way in the hell up front. But if they're coming this way to here, or this way to here, they'll definitely hit these guys. And the bombers will get them, he'll help them, and then he'll get these guys that are peppered up front. Uh, then I'll put, like, probably a flame tower here, but before that I'll start upgrading this side. At least getting, like, a foot soldier probably here. For this one here, you can be a complete dick. Some of the guys down here, just out of the range of these bricks, so they're not meleeing, but they're chucking their ranged attacks on them, killing them off pretty fast. It's like a free tower. See the fire damage they're taking? That's from flaming pitchforks. Freaking hilarious. That's his little conqueror sending his two little buddies. You see that? Still going the same way, so that's some early. I am going to get that foot soldiers down here, just as a nice stopgap, just in case I miss something and I'm not paying attention. As far as clickables on this, you know, the only ones I've seen so far is uh, this guy up here. Gives the beer to that doofus. You can click him multiple times to do so. And he passes up. I put Borny to sleep. Supposed to be Barney and Mo. Bad. Okay, I do want to get that flame tower up, but I don't know if I want to waste the money on it just yet because these guys are clearly dying. And I'm not too concerned about them getting through it now. You see, this one is supposed to come in this way. And here's a good place for me to put another tower because it'll still help with these guys and help with these guys. But also like something else over here, like a, a foot soldier or a flame tower. But notice that these guys are going to be completely useless over here. So you can't reach these guys. I don't think 
there's anything else in this map that we can click. That way, and yeah, see now we got both paths gonna be a problem. That flame dollar burn. Give these guys a little bit of archery back up. Pull them back just the tiniest bit so they're definitely within the archery range. Gunman. Yeah. And they like to shoot your guys at range and you'll never see it. They'll sneak bad guys through left and right. Sulfur Alchemist has magic resistance, hence the blue shield. So again, less damage from Flame Tower guy. And he's the new bad guy, Sulfur Alchemist. Heals dwarves, high magic resistance. Really annoying little prick. You'll hear the noises from the healing, throwing little vials on And again, feel free to throw some damage their way. Lock these guys up with melee like you've done anyone else before. Keep them back so they're not healing these guys, otherwise we're undoing all the damage that our towers are doing. So they're all clustered up here, we can beam the shit out of them. And I'll happily upgrade those guys and get a little bit more health. Like a little more robust. I'll leave him here for now. Flame bridge over here. Most of fire, uh, flying towers. So again, range damage is necessary. It looks like no here. Pick it up, give me the hammer. Give it to me. Now I always like to have like probably like a range sound in the back. Just in case something were to sneak through, that last little bit of arrows might be enough to finish them off. Kind of thing. Come here, fellas. He's doing good uh, damage over here. That's probably good. This fool's all hail, but I don't care. Good level two towers up here. Okay, there's our chemist. Lock him up. <laughs> he explodes. Spears behind him. They're healing themselves, basically. Quarry workers moves underground, which means you can't damage them the traditional way. The bombs might still work. You see the cloud of dust. If so, they're hitting a foot soldier above ground with those bombs, they may take damage underground. I don't know that. But uh, that would be the way to do that. And this is where you might want to have like foot soldiers just a little bit farther back, in case they bypass them. 
course, keeping a happy little summons at your back pocket at any given moment could also come in super handy. Foot soldiers down here just to be another flying enemy, so to speak. Keep them within range of towers. Money wave. My is flawless. There, just to slow some stuff down. All right, get your ass. Probably come back here. Ooh, Stonebeard Jimmy. So now this is one of your first, not bosses. These are. Just tougher soldiers. I mean, it's nothing really to say about them other than the fact that they make themselves extremely tough. They see the armor up. They're slow, good damage, no less, too. As you can see, they're, they're solid hitting tanks. The, the, the juggernaut, if you will, of the goddamn game. Or at least one of them. Uh, but all melee. So again, you can lock one or two of them down this way. how tough they are, eventually they'll arm up. Uh, oh, killed my hero. Yeah. Being lazy when paying attention. Or not something in the middle that clock it down because they're just murdering the shit out of us. The range has gotten better, of course. But the other part of this is uh, the unlock special abilities here. One of my favorites let's show it to you in a second, is this crow. If they're within range, they'll, they'll send out a bird that just does continual pecking damage to the target. And you may say, who gives a shit about that? Because it's like one point of damage. Upgrade it goes to two. But it's continuous. As you can see, it's just murdering the guy. Very nice little upgraded golem pet, however you want to look at it. Um, and again, I thought you could get two when, when you went to upgrade and said it just does double the damage. And the, they can't kill the crow as far as I can tell. 
So again, it's a really nice permanent uh, damaging thing in that circle. And there's other stuff here like uh, extra damage or uh, instant kill, which you may think that would be the one you'd want, but it, the game seems to want to instant kill stupid shit. So I'd rather do saucing the guy up. Let's just say it. Uh, I don't have to go crazy beyond that. But the, their upgrades, by the way, get actually pretty cool too. When they get to the tier four, whatever tower we're seeing here, uh, the powers like you're seeing for these guys, the powers for the foot soldiers, turn into like they regenerate damage like in combat or continually heal. And you can upgrade that to heal even faster. Uh, you can make one of them like a captain, or like a lieutenant, or a sergeant, whatever you want to call it. Basically, a tougher son of a bitch out of the three. Uh, so he helps out, does more damage. And then the, the other one, I don't know what the third upgrade is. Let's see if we can find out. Big wave coming. It's a uh, second to last wave. Again, those little, that little crow man is doing work. going on this guy too because again if something sneaks through that bird will just peck 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 and then up and down. could come in super handy dude I'm literally a little crow bastard man you gotta love that little goofus Four percent bonus damage. Okay, that's the regen. That's the captain, and that's the uh, extra damage. So murder bots, basically. Then you can't control the crow. That's the only downside of the crow. Um, he just finds the nearest target, just pecks it till it dies, or gets out of his range and then switches the targets. About the guy. Summon them early so I can get my recharge down. I think back over here. I need to block that shit. for damage because it'll just kill me a little faster. There's the last wave, so we're not done. There we go. That's all the degrees. You've been taking it on the chin, man. They just murdered the shit out of me. There we go. Three stars, please. Here, please. Ew, that's what I'm talking about. Don't have to repeat it. Okay. Next upgrades. 
Boom, boom. And now we have Azra. We'll switch to her just to show you what she's capable of. But, uh, let's see where we're going from here. Right there. So let's get our upgrades first. Now, remember, I've burnt uh, a point here. If I needed something for four points, like if this was four and I really, really, really wanted it, I could reset, get that point back so I could buy this, but that's not enough. Um, same with down over here. So again, I have three to burn if I wanted to. One, I actually have enough for both of those things. I should probably do so. I could do bigger bombs. I could do more rations so my, my foot soldiers have more health. That's the ones from the barracks, of course. I could upgrade my my uh, heroes. Remember, we got a new hero, no less. So it reduces the respawn time. Heroes' cooldown times are faster. Uh, special training, so they get XP faster. Yeah, I love that. Uh, we won't be able to get all the way up to here unless I recycle some points back in. So like if I got that one back, I could get all the way up to here, increasing the basic attack damage of all your heroes or the maximum health of all your heroes. You solid upgrade. Um, I'm not going to do any of that silliness. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do that, that, because that's the power we continually use. It just does more damage or m more bursts of damage to that area. And now when they kill things, it makes like little soul ghosts that rush out uh, from where they hit, it hit strikes on the ground and attacks the bad guys, chasing them down. Heroes, he didn't have enough. He did. He leveled up enough to get five points now. So he had one before, four more points. Now he's up to five. Which means I can unlock that now, which again just makes those guys that we summon with his special ability that much better. And then we can go up again, go up again if we so choose. Uh, we don't have enough points for that though, but we've got three points, uh, so I can do this one. How about we do the 180 points of damage? Now that's done, but we don't want him. Remember, we specifically said we wanted to check out the other character. He's level four. Look at how cool his stats are. Look at hers. Much worse. And you'd be like, why the fuck would you pick her? Well, remember, she hasn't upgraded at all. But she's level 3. Look at what kind of upgrade she has. Remember, first off, we don't get the new summons. We get her special ability, which is a shooting a big cluster pile of arrows. So another AoE attack that poisons bad guys. And then for those of you that don't know in this game, poison is nothing more than a different type of damage. And it's not something that's armor protects from, or even magic armor for that matter. So again, if you just need to wound something, it's not going to be amazing damage, but it's a nice little AOE, soften them up kind of thing. Definitely something you'd want. Let's actually reset that. Uh, we already get that for free. I can get upgraded versions of it, as you can see, for some serious fucking damage, but we're not doing that. The fact we have, it's good enough. Uh, here, on the other hand, strike an enemy with a powerful poison that lasts indefinitely. Fucking yes, please. That took five goddamn points. Three more. Uh, I can either get shoot a burst of three arrows at a target, dealing 20 to 30 magical damage per arrow, and then I can unlock this, Quiver of Sorrow. Basic attacks reduce an enemy's armor by one point. Definitely grabbing that shit. Uh, and then I can have for two points either this or the Shield of Shadows. After receiving an attack, Azra casts a shield of 120 HP that protects her from incoming damage. It degrades over time, so while her health is shit, she gets a temporary shield buff. Think of it as... Uh, uh, like a heroism spell, you know, we got temp HP kind of shit, false life, greater false life, stuff of that nature. Uh, it falls apart quickly even without them attacking it, so you'll see it and it's like, it goes down, goes down, and it's gone. But, the better version you get, the more protected you are. I do like the idea of having a special ability, though. And again, the reason for that is because, remember, she gets XP anytime she uses an, uh, a special ability or kills something or attacks something, so having both of those comes in handy for her. Um... Notice how he is still my picture here? I mean, you didn't select her, so go back to her. And so see, the green. see the green check mark? You can only have one hero at a time. There are some maps in the previous iterations of this game, like Kingdom Rush, Kingdom Rush Frontiers, where you can, they, the, the map that you go to, like say this map right here, um, you get your hero, and they have their own hero in that map. So you get two heroes to control, but only for that map. So that's, that's a rarity. And again, that hero, you don't have any real control over how good he or she is. They will level up, though, in the fight. So you will see them start, like, level 1, and by the end of the, the massive fight, they'll become level 4, 5, 10, something like that. So they will upgrade. This will be the last part of the video, I think. This is a long-ass video. Um, just says I want to show you this. This is your attack problems keeping the, the three stars. Uh, before we start, uh, first pass, again, two exits, but notice how the exits are on the same side of the map. So this corridor here, and even maybe this here, like a foot soldier that can go on both sides, 
you know, obviously one side at a time, could be a value or just straight up shooting. Because remember, the archer towers get bigger range. So while it doesn't look like it has a really good range over here, see that green uh, uh, oval? Doesn't look like it's covering much ground, right? You're probably not hitting anybody, but that's level one. Get it to level two, three, or four. Now suddenly it's like this far out. It may not hit everybody, but it'll hit two or three of the guys as they come through. So that could be a value. Um, uh, as far as clickables here, you have your uh, clear novice Terminator 2 reference. You notice the ring, for the Lord of the Rings reference, the Gollum will appear. If you click this, he'll come out for his precious. You click Gollum repeatedly, he gets pissed off at you, and he just jumps into the fucking lava. Clicking that, though, is just a quick and done. Um, as far as paths, notice how they're going to both veer away. And I can have her about here, so she's not meleeing. Remember, she's not great at melee. She's a ranged attacker, hence the crossbow. She can melee if she needs to, but she's not going to be good at it. Um, so you want to keep her at distance. But notice something else about her. Darkness. Fucking teleports. And that's invaluable. And you got to get fucking here. Like, oh shit, something's coming through. Click, click. You know, keep your hand on the space bar so you can click it and, and go click, boom. Get the fuck over here and protect the area. That comes in super, super handy. One of the reasons I actually like her as my second hero. Um, though, things are going to be annoying if they get through. Uh, I usually like to have... Um, uh, do I want the bomb here? I think I did the bomb here last time. I don't think I like that. So Archer here. Bomb there. You know, foot soldiers, we'll hold off on them for the time being. See how we do. Notice again, I don't have my other summons. I just have my pitchfork guys. But they can melee. They can slow them down so that she can get a couple shots in. That's the goal. Just to show you what the poison arrow clock looks like. See all that tick, tick, tick of damage, and they finally just suffer some more. Boom, that guy's dead. Good, that guy's dead. So again, we're able to hold it out without even getting that foot soldier out. If I need it, I have it. But I have to. Forgot about the archers or the ranged shooters. Not good for me. She was able to to take it. I like the fact that she has a pretty good range. I just wish they would show her range. I am sword in the dark. dark. Dark necessities. Pretty nasty wave. I'd say we probably do want them foot soldiers at this point. We got the money saved up, so I don't mind. It gives me something to retreat behind, and I can save these guys for over here if I need them. Well, let's get our. I'll be back. Melt the T800. Fuck him up, fuck him up, fuck him up. Show me. Dumb man. Um, so down. They can't handle that. I can teleport over. But they can't. Um, what I want to think about is what I'm going to put over here. Usually I put my foot soldiers. But first, do I want bombs? Do I want archers? Probably want archers because they really are just constant damage. And again, it really helps for those flying pricks that you're seeing. That just show. Foot soldiers are great. Here will be able to help with those foot soldiers. Anything that sneaks through, so over here, flame tower, mage, I should say. Double smash. Love that. Uh, and I 
do want to have that here, just so I don't forget. But I definitely want to have an archer tower here for that shit that bleeds through. Notice she doesn't teleport us to just have her move a few feet. She'll literally walk. That's not that big a deal, but again, it may confuse you a little bit, just to warn you ahead of time. That's a typical staple for the teleporters in these games. So when they teleport, you have to move them a decent click, because like here to here, they might have just walked through. So, okay. Big jumps. Flame tower here. So I'm gonna get some more. I remember this guy. Remember how he was I remember. Pepper's Farm, remember. Pepper's Farm, he's gonna keep Pepper's Farm set. Alright, uh, let's teleport you over here, Sunshine. This guy's got that shit, I think, pretty sold up. And Archer's doing work. Again, that's why I made it tier 2. Remember these little perks? Super annoying feature. But. We do have enough upgrades now. Yeah, see what I'm saying? Another path opens up. There's another one. Here's another one. Suck it up, loser. Thank you. Okay. We'll get these guys up pretty, pretty soon, but uh, not that soon. Case another healer prick comes on those mechanics really start to suck. And I got these guys a little bit of loving this way. Go. Go back up over there, never hurt anybody. And this guy's terrible at level one, so we definitely want to get him to level two tower before too long, because that's not killing anybody. Unless they're already like super wounded. Yeah, this fellas. Probably should have made this the foot soldier and this the flame tower, but I'm not selling. Because when you sell, I think you lose out on money. You don't get all your cash back. So it's not a shrewd move to do stuff like that if you can help it. I'm going to make this though the archer tower that I want to just in case. Another thing to do up here is like to double up on archer towers or like a flame tower, mage tower, in the archer tower. That's how good work, guys. Okay, uh, this guy's gonna be a douche. So I'm just gonna give him some. Flame damage. Remember, she lowers his armor. Yeah, up a little bit. See the range? Again, one more, and we got a pretty good range. I think. Now we're getting bum rushed by fast moving sons of bitches. This way, fast killing comes in super handy. Got this gunsmith over here. It's gonna be prick as well, but. Anyway. I don't care about these guys because they're being tempted by these three cars. But we'll help them out a little bit. I think I do want to have another set of foot soldiers down here just to do shit. And I can sell these ones off then. Make something. More valuable over here, like a multiple counts. That way, we got multiple things shooting stuff over there. Here, here, and here. Oh, God, this thing. So, this guy here is gonna walk this way. I need a ball buster. You look at him, you click him, you see he's a Mecha Dwarf Mark 9. He has a huge amount of health and he has some decent physical armor. So obviously mage towers come in super handy for wearing him down. Uh, of course having your hero poison him and shit routinely goes out of the way to be a victim. Alright, 
Protoss over here again. This guy here is still more than half his shelters. But our main star is finally moving up. Okay, cool. Oh, we got a level up though. Nice. And while that doesn't do us any good until the end of the mission when we can burn our points up, it does us some good in that her damage goes up. So you can see that she's better health, better armor, better whatever. Dwarf machine area attack, very low speed, so that's helpful. Let's get that up there. I'd rather have him shoot on those guys a little bit faster. So I'm gonna stop doing those things. Really, it's fucking so. Now again, we have enough ranged attack towers that I'm not too worried about this shit. But like I said, never hope to have a problem more just trapping in the area. a little bit more. This needs to slow him down, that's all I really care about. Towers are gonna do that. I kill him. That's my team. Good work. Buddy boy. Let's get the flame tower up here when we get a chance. Yeah? Start setting these guys on fire. Soften them up before they even get around to us. These guys got this up locked up pretty tight. There we go. Nice and flame damage now just to be a dick. It's not a huge amount of damage, but you gotta load the 5 to 15 right off the bat. That's a nice amount of smack. And I like to put a foot soldier up here sometimes, but we don't have to. It's nice because it catches guys this way, guys that might do this, definitely guys that go this way, and guys that go this way. So it is probably useful to slow down to You don't have to upgrade it per se. If you got the money, feel free to. But I'm um, uh, of a mind that you're towers that are down the middle are probably better to be upgraded to get them to be as badass as possible. So that guy will do some solid damage now. We put those little crows on him. Remember what I'm talking about, get to the next upgrade, get the little crows that, that just peck, 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 and do that for both that tower and this tower. Anything that comes this way is going to probably get moved pretty quick. Again, nice little way to cluster them up. She shouldn't be up here shooting shit at distance. I was able to take him out. I'm impressed by that. Okay, so we got some solid money. Like the ground digging some bitches you see in this. They take out these dwarves before because they can't re resuscitate the dead. So they can heal the dwarves, but they can't bring them back like the one robot healing some bitch can do with the robots. So there's at least that. Yes, my guy, give me 200 bucks now. Come on, 200 dollars. Daddy needs 200 dollars. And that goes a long way. Look at the rain in that fucking tower, too. That one's nice, but this one's huge. Like, it's reaching all the way to the other side of the world. There's nothing that's coming along this fucking path here. So they'll hit everybody that comes through. I mean, it's gonna be an easy fight. Feel much better about them being level two. And again, this guy will work on both sides beautifully. So much so that I almost want to pull these guys back. Even within the range of the tower, bro. 
it. He's less scary with this guy fucking having his little crow attack. I don't know, I just lock him up like so. I don't need to get that tower up. I can't believe I never did that. I still have another tower position to put to. Don't really need anything there, but it never hurts to have like another bomb. Fire damage or whatever. Whatever you feel. Poison. Get him, birdie. Yeah, it's my Boom. That guy got upgraded. And again, I'm of a mind I'd rather have him upgraded and have a crow instead of just upgrading this crow to do double damage. Still want it. But it's one of those where having both towers really covering both sides here. It goes over a lot of solving some problems. Let's see if we're getting about ready to bombard it with some shiz. Another Franken monster coming over here. Come up, boys. Boys. Nice work, nice work. She needs to I don't like her being that close to foot soldiers. She doesn't have her little full shield. About him too much. Looks like getting too many of those bots coming that way, he could be a real prick. Set shit on fire go a long way. Oh no! They're penetrating the bureaucracy! Ah, son of a bitch! There it went. Yep, not gonna freaking get it. Right, all That's okay. Uh, give you an example of, of what you can do with that. So now, again, bad, we failed. Sure, I could have kept going and passed the thing. We probably wouldn't have been hemorrhage 20 bad guys, but she has an upgrade. See that? So again, if, if you fail, like we just clearly did, uh, you can hopefully get at least an upgrade on your character, maybe redo your towers or your upgrade points, like because like maybe this wasn't doing anything for you, but having like hero buffs or like better buffs over here would be the thing you need, or you know, like better foot soldiers, whatever. So again, rethink the problem is what I'm basically telling you here. Uh, for the heroes, though, since you did get an upgrade, we definitely want to spend that. We're definitely getting the little force shield. Just to be real clear on this, that's helpful. Don't want her dying. It's not amazing, but it's going to go a long way. I could upgrade this probably twice. So is this uh, reducing the armor? Definitely useful. Again, softening them up, right? By two points instead of one point. So if they have armor one, she can already take it down to zero. If she has armor two, if I upgrade this one more time, she can take that again down to zero. Probably upgrade it again to take it down from three armor points down to zero. That's a lot of armor fucked over. But I'd rather have the shoot a burst of four arrows for more damage. And that's where we're going to cut. Uh, let's see. So tell me if you guys like this uh, type of game, for one thing. Uh, I've, I've done these before. Uh, never completed any of them in my videos because I get frustrated very quickly, but it's one of those where I set myself uh, ridiculous expectations. For example, I, I'll say, oh, we're not going to uh, uh, switch characters. Like, I'll, I'll use the same character every time to show you that I can beat the game with just this guy. And you can, but it's a pain in the ass. Uh, I'll say stuff like, oh, I'll show you how to do it with uh, just these types of towers. And again, you can, but it's a pain in the ass. I'm not going to give myself those restrictions anymore. Um, I'll switch stuff around. Uh, 
uh, I'll make sure that we get three stars before we progress. That will be the only real limitation I get. So like, for example, on that last mission, if we had beaten it and only gotten two stars, because we were definitely going to only get two or one star, even best case scenario, um, or worst case scenario, um, I would still insist on repeating that until we beat it, getting all three stars before progressing to the next one, because you should be able to. And again, I am not cheating by you know giving those four points to her, but if I was more on the ball, played the characters and, and the, the that map a little bit better, we would have been fine. I, I just didn't set up enough AOE damage, uh, certainly didn't get it fast enough. I mean, the crows are nice and everything like that. I mean, it's solid damage, don't kid yourself, but it's one of those where you have to be on top of it. You can't summon guys too soon. Uh, you, you get overwhelmed very quickly by summoning it too soon and getting like gold early. And you're like, oh, I got all this gold. But yeah, but you got like 50 guys bum rushing one location and you do not have the AOE damage to take that shit out yet. So what are you going to do? Oh, oh uh, shit. And that's where the problems arise. But with that, my name is Brother Me, and please like, subscribe, comment down below. Tell me what you guys think of this style of game. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye now.